That's Dustin Lynch's Good Girl, and <clears throat> I'm going to show you a couple things about the, uh, the solo break. So it's got a real party vibe on the cut, because uh, it's got several different guitars playing through the solo section, as brief as it is. And what I'm <clears throat> doing here in this video is uh, putting them all together on one guitar. Because not every band has the luxury of several great guitar players. Uh, at the top we have that Eric Clapton uh, cream woman tone um, guitar where it's... Um, we're in G major. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to slide up with your first finger to the D, the 15th fret D on the B string. And then with your third finger, you're gonna grab the 17th fret A on the high E string. And uh, bend it up a whole step. You're gonna bend it up to the B. And then you're gonna slide up again. You're gonna do the same thing, except you're not, you're not gonna be bending up, you're gonna be you're going to hit the 17th fret A and then the 15th fret G with your first finger. Alright, and then with your uh, ring finger, you're going to hit the 17th fret E on the B string. And then you're going to hit, uh, with your first finger, you're going to bar the 15th fret and grab the 15th fret D on the B string and the 15th fret G on the high E string. And then uh, <clears throat> you're gonna come all the way down here. You're gonna bend, um, I think it's pretty natural to bend with your, uh, your second finger, your middle finger there. So you're gonna grab that. Uh, second fret A on the G string. So, so you're gonna grab the minor third, or it could be somewhere between the minor third and the third. Yeah. It's that bluesy thing. So there's a uh, there's a muted kind of kind of note after the. So on your way down, you can just with your pick kind of. You're gonna hit that open G string, and then uh, we go to a real uh, common like country motif where. So basically, you're playing you're playing all the notes of the chord, but you're bending like the bottom the bottom pitch. It's kind of a steel. Still kind of like, still guitar kind of like. Um, so you're going to be playing B, D, G to make that G chord. But, um, so you're going to bar with your third finger. You're going to bar the 15th fret D on the B string and the 15th fret G on the E string. And uh, with your middle finger, you're going to hit uh, the 14th fret A on the G string. And you're going to bend it up a little step. So this is kind of a, I think what they call a ghost bend. So where you're already bent there on, on this one. So you're already bent there. And then you bring it down. Bring it down a whole step. And then you hit the 12th fret G on the G string. Uh, let's go back. So you do that, uh, that G chord there. And then you do the same kind of on your way down. You just hit the muted string with your pick. And then, and then you're going down for a D chord.
So it's the same same fingering. You're gonna have your <coughs> second finger on the ninth fret E on the G string. And so that that's gonna be bent up a whole step to an F sharp. Alright. And then you're gonna have your third finger, your ring finger, uh, barring the tenth fret A on the B string and the tenth fret D on the high E string. Uh, let me make sure that's right. Yeah, that's all it is. Basically a D chord, landing on a D. Alright, so you're gonna land on the 7th fret D on the G string. Okay, and then you're gonna do a kind of, <clears throat> kind of a Jimmy kind of thing. Kind of a Jimmy kind of, you know, the broken chord deal. Um, so you're gonna take your 3rd finger, your ring finger, you're gonna slide from the 7th fret A on the D string to the 9th fret B on the D string. And then you're gonna make the rest of that chord. So it should should look familiar to you probably at this point if you're looking at playing the solo. Um, so you're gonna play the third, fifth, and first uh, first inversion uh, G chord. So you're going to uh, with your third finger you've got the ninth fret B on the D string. And then with your first finger, you're going to grab the 7th fret D on the G string. And then with your second finger, you're going to grab the 8th fret G on the B string. So it's going to be... So, and then um, as far as your right hand goes, you're going to want to do pick and then 2nd and 3rd fingers. This is going to be important for getting that kind of uh, slappy country kind of sound. Then you're going to hit that B again, and then you're going to hammer on. You're going to hammer on to the E. You're going to hammer on from the seventh to the ninth fret. You're going to hammer on to the <coughs> the E, the ninth fret E. On the G string. And then you're gonna you're gonna grab the, the seventh fret D and the eighth fret G right there. And then not entirely necessary, but it just it'll set you up to land properly. And not necessarily properly, it just easier to play if you do it this way. So next you're going to slide up to the 14th fret E on the D string. And then with your first finger, you're going to bar the 12th fret G and the 12th fret B. Like that. And then uh, you're gonna, with your pinky, grab that 15th fret D on the B string. And then you're gonna grab the, uh, <clears throat> the 14th fret A on the G string, immediately bend up a whole step to the B. Uh, bend it back down to the A. And then you're going to hit the G with your first finger, the 12th fret G on the G string. So I'll go ahead and uh, drop the camera down a little bit so you can see my right hand a little better. Yeah, 
that's Dustin Lynch's Good Girl, and if you don't play it like that, you're not fit to play your mother-in-law's garage. <laughs>